Issue where I alternate jumps when I alternate jumps, my fingers feel glued to the keys and it feels unnatural. Um, well, I, I can give like an anecdotal answer. So when I started playing for a long, long time, I was like only single tap. I only ever single tap. And uh, whenever I would try to alternate jumps, like let's say I was playing like 240, 250 BPM jumps. And it was just too fast to single tap. But whenever I tried alternating, my aim was just horrible. Like it just didn't feel right. I couldn't snap to objects properly. Like I could only aim properly when I was single tapping. And I was like, man, if only I could single tap this BPM, I would I could aim it. That that was that was my thing for a long time, but um it probably it might just feel unnatural because you haven't kind of stuck with it for long enough. That's completely possible. And personally, I think a life hack for learning how to alternate is learn to single tap with your other finger. Like if you're going from single tapper to alternator, then learning to single tap with your other finger and like starting all the patterns. Because the way I think of it, alternating is basically single tapping with both fingers like back and forth consecutively. So if like your ability to single tap and start fingers with your index is like level 70, for example, and then your ability to start with your other finger is like level 30 or level 20, like it's horrible in comparison then you basically just want to get them to around the same level. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is put it together. And it's a lot more seamless in my opinion. So if you guys have ever played Pokemon, I like to use the analogy of switch training, which is basically you start the battle with one lower level Pokemon, but then you immediately switch to a stronger one so you can finish the fight. And then they both share the experience equally. That's kind of how I imagine like going from single tapper to alternator by just kind of playing a bunch of alternating maps. You'll get there. Um, it's a little uh, slower, I guess, less efficient, in, in my opinion. But if it's too boring or frustrating for you to single tap with your off finger and like go through that phase of just being really bad, then yeah, I think it's it's fine to just practice however you want as long as you feel like you're making progress with it. But yeah, to go back to what you were talking about with feeling unnatural, uh, like alternating, especially jumps, because there's also definitely a difference between alternating like flow aim type patterns, like what you typically think of as alt maps and alternating jumps. So uh, with with that in mind, I think specifically practicing alternating jumps is something that kind of is its own field, in my opinion. Like some people are very comfortable, like the like stream alting, that's like kind of flow aimy. And then they just don't have the experience uh, with alternating on jumps because it's I feel like it's a slightly different type of like synchronizing your taps with your aim and like being able to alternate that. So yeah, I think giving yourself enough exposure to like playing those types of patterns is really important as well. So yeah, TLDR, uh, just give yourself more exposure to actually alternating jumps and, and just, just stick with it for a while, I think is really important. And I mean, even if it's frustrating, this goes with literally anything, but if you can get past the initial hurdle of just suckage, sucking, <laughs> then it, okay, there's like this cycle of um, like, the, there's, okay, there's three things that kind of feed off of each other. One, uh, for you to like continue improving. Um, one is doing the thing more. If you do the thing more, then you'll get better at it. And if you get better at something, then typically you start to like it more. And if you like it more, then you'll do it more. And if you do it more, then you'll improve more. And it's that sort of cycle that when you're really bad at something, you just have to jump in somewhere. So um, you're not getting better if you're not doing it. So you can't really jump in there and you might not have fun with it if you're not very good at it either. So you probably can't jump there, jump in there either. So when you're a very newbie beginner, you want to get good at something, but you're just, you just know that you're bad, then you kind of have to work through this phase of just absolute suckage because you just jump in by just doing it more and enter that cycle, uh, even if it's kind of frustrating at first, as long as you understand and have faith in this uh, like process of improving, then as you do it more, even if it sucks, and even if you know that you're like the worst out of anyone you could possibly imagine, just do it more consistently, and then over time, very, very gradually, um, or maybe if you're a beginner, then it'll actually happen pretty quickly. You'll get your first little beginner gains and you're like dang okay this i'm actually getting better let's go it's motivating and then 
you start to enjoy the process and you do it more and then you improve more and, and then the rest is history so yeah that that's like a really important lesson that i think i learned um over time i guess when it comes to improvement in general so yeah keep it up don't give up and um i think as long as you keep practicing then you'll have all the improvement that you want <laughs> Yo, Akuma, what's up? Okay, wait, let me read this. Um, I was alternate but switched to only single tap. Now I'm relearning alternate for like a month. Oh, interesting. I think if you're going from alternate to single tap, let me think. I think you would want to, um, like, uh, I think the only reason I can, like, the only situation I can imagine where you would want to go from alternating, uh, alternator to single tapping is if you're practicing your single tap speed or your finger speed, tapping speed, because people say, well, I, I kind of agree with this too, that, um, pushing your tapping speed is, uh, well, okay, when you single tap, obviously it's more straining, so it kind of pushes you more. So even if you're an alternator, if you're really trying to push your finger speed, then some people suggest that you try to, like, when you're practicing speed and pushing your speed, you single tap. Although I would really recommend splitting that single tap practice between both fingers, especially if you want to keep, you know, if we were, if we go back to the same kind of analogy of, um, your fingers being like around the same level quote unquote and like that being kind of important for alternating so you i think you don't want to have too much dependence on starting patterns with one finger or at least that that's kind of my opinion that i've come to so with that if you've started off as an alternating player then that's really good like i think that is kind of like the optimal tapping style because um even if you're a single tapper, there's times where you need to use your other finger. But if you're an alternator, then there's never really situations where you have to use one finger consecutively and single tap. So with that, typically, if you're just comfortable with alternating and using both fingers seamlessly, then that is really, really good. So, uh, at, but at the same time, when you're pushing single tap speed or like tapping speed, then typically... Um, it's helpful to actually single tap because that'll push your tapping speed a little more. And then when you're actually going for scores, if you want to go for scores, then you go back to alternating. And typically, like now both of your fingers are faster because you've trained them individually from single tapping and pushing your finger speed. So um, in that situation, I think single tapping does have benefits from a practice perspective. But then no matter what, if you're comfortable with alternating, then alternating does make it less straining on your fingers. So, um, yeah, but what, what I was saying is that when you do do that, especially if you're already an alternating player, then I think it's best to balance that like single tap speed practice uh, across both fingers. Bad at balancing out practicing skill sets. Oh, yeah, I think um, it's, it's tricky. I know Zilver has a good video where he talks about this, like hyper focusing on skill sets, um, which I'm sure you you may have seen. But oh, there's like hair on my microphone. On it. Anyway, um, yeah, it's hard, especially if you're like, man, I just want to get really good at this skill set. I'm just gonna do nothing but this skill set until I can actually master it. But um, yeah, Th thankfully, I think the general narrative within the OC community has changed a little bit as far as like taking breaks where most people talk about how like you know taking breaks every now and then is healthy and uh, helps with the improvement process and things like that um and that includes taking breaks from focusing on that skill set yeah play less is the meta right now i think everyone well i i think everyone is quitting maybe that's why <laughs> everyone's quitting oh um how do you how can you single tap faster from alt al alternating uh, is that like kind of what I just talked about? Um, my aim is fine. 
single tapping or alternating doesn't change my aim. It's a feeling of my fingers feeling glued to the keys. Mm, I see. Do you, I think the way I think of alternating jumps is it kind of feels like I'm single tapping. Like if I if I'm single tapping like this, uh, with my with my index. Oh, this angle is kind of weird. There we go. Um, single tapping, and then I'm single tapping with my like middle, for example. And then when I'm alternating jumps, it's kind of like um, like this motion and then this motion. It's like kind of just combining single tap, but with both um, both fingers back and forth. I think that's a kind of a good way to think of it. Um, that way you're not kind of like um, trying to alternate by doing this. You can alt so much faster than single tap. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I think if you know that you're really comfortable at alternating when you don't think about what finger you use for patterns, you just kind of like tap whenever you if you t if you see two notes, you just tap twice. It doesn't matter which finger you started with. <laughs> 